Hey everybody, welcome to Trades Tutor. Today we're going to go through Boyle's Law, which is one of the gas laws. All right, so the set question is, a five cubic foot system is pressurized to 50 pounds per square inch gauge. The volume of the system is increased to eight cubic feet. What is the new pressure in the system? So if you follow the method that I'm going to go through right now, or I'm going to outline right now, you can never go wrong when you're dealing with gas law questions. Step number one, write down the combined gas law. So there you have it, P1V1 over T1 is equal to P2V2 over T2. Now the one on the left-hand side of the equation stands for the initial set of events, and the two on the other side stands for the final set of events. All right? Now the variables themselves, P is pressure, V is volume, and T is temperature. So what we want to do is we want to read this question and find out if we have all of the variables in the question or just some of them. So the first thing, the five cubic foot. Well, that is volume, so we have volume. Then we move on and we see 50 pounds per square inch gauge. That is pressure. But what we notice we don't have is anything to do with temperature. So in this case, the temperature is the same in the beginning and the end. It's going to remain constant. So if we look at the combined gas law, we can essentially remove the temperature. And what, we're in, what we end up with is Boyle's law. P1V1 is equal to P2V2. All right, we'll put the Boyle's law up there. And then step two, we're going to write down the value of the variables. This is an important step because it starts to put it all in our head what we actually have or what we have. So P1, the initial pressure, Oh, sorry, P1, V1, P2, and V2. We're write, going to write them all down first, and then we're going to fill them in. So P1 is 50 pounds per square inch gauge. Now, when we're talking pressure, we have to put it into absolute. And to do that, we add 14.7. That'll give us 64.7. If you need more information on this absolute pressure, um, there, is a, there is another video I did on Boyle's Law, you can take a look at, kind of explains all that stuff. All right. Volume, is it is what it is, so five cubic feet. The final pressure, or P2, well, that's what we're looking for, and the final volume is eight cubic feet. So now we have all of our variables written down. We're good to go and start plugging them in. Okay, so step three, what we have to do is we have to figure out where we're plugging them in. And in this case, what we need to do is we're solving for P2 here. We're solving for that variable. So we need to isolate that. We need to transpose this equation to isolate for P2. And we do that by removing the V2, or the final volume, from the right-hand side. We do that by dividing by V2. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side. So now what we end up with is P2 is equal to P1V1 over V2, as we cancel those out. All right, there you go. So now we just start to plug in the variables. We'll bring them back, there, there they are. And 64.7 times 5 divided by 8. Simple as that. When it all works out, we get 40.44. Now. One thing to note here, that answer, as we put everything into the pressure into absolute in the start, well, the answer is an absolute. If we wanted to bring it get back to gauge pressure, we'd have to minus the 14.7. And we would get 25.74 pounds per square inch gauge. And when you think about it, this makes sense. The volume has increased. The pressure has decreased. Kind of how the formula works. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.